morning guys, it is our second day here in Iceland. And we are just getting ready for the day. So we woke up, got some breakfast. Yeah, we're just like getting ready. So I think I said in yesterday's video that we were doing a Jeep Northern Lights tour, but I was confused. I guess the Jeep tour and the Northern Lights tour are two different things. So today we're doing the Jeep tour and then I'm gonna have to go online and try and get us tickets for the Northern Lights tour because we definitely want to do that. Also, last night, you guys missed it. After we ended the vlog and once we'd gone back to the hotel, I was emailing the guy that we are going on the tour with and he said something about how there's gonna be something similar to the Blue Lagoon. So he was like, oh, so bring your swimsuits. And then Parker and I were like, Oh no, we, Parker and Aspen, I, <laughs> left we. them on the bus. I was carrying them and I set them in like a little mesh thing in front of our seat on the bus and I left them there and it was like my favorite swimsuit and Parker's favorite swimsuit. So we were like, no, so we started Googling places to like go shop but it was kind of like late at night and I emailed the bus company. I was like, I hope that they will like reply. So I emailed them and was like, I love my swimsuits. Can you find them? And they found them, they put them in the lost and found. So I, and they were like, oh, you can come get them at the bus stop. So I was like, oh, I hope it's not far away. So we looked it up. It was like 0.6 miles of a walk. So I was like, oh, let's go run there. Cause we wanted to exercise for the day. And we didn't think there was a hotel gym, but I guess there is. We wanted to get some exercise. So I was like, it was my idea. I was like, oh, let's run there. And like, I work out all the time. I eat pretty healthy. I thought I was in shape. I don't really run. I do. I just like walk when I'm on the treadmill. But I was like 0.6 miles. If I can't run 0.6 miles, like I can't do anything in life. So I was like, I will be fine. So we put on our running stuff. We ran for maybe like maybe 0.2 miles, very slowly. And then I was like, oh, I can't do it, I can't run anymore. And I felt so sick and I was like, I'm gonna pass out. I honestly thought I was gonna throw up my dinner. And my throat was so dry, so I was like, I can't. So we just walked the rest of the way. <laughs> Parker was like, are you kidding me? But anyways, we found our swimsuits and then we took a taxi back because I am not in shape and I thought that I was. So that was kind of embarrassing. Where are we? Think with it. Can you spell it out? Think with it. Spell it out, yeah. Think with it. Think. 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 I can't say it. Anyways, this is our buddy for the day. How cold would you say that water is? Two degrees. Like you see, we're driving through this. It's a very big lava field that we are driving through. Yeah. So we are currently on a bus with our stopover buddy guides. So basically what the stopover buddy is, is Iceland Air will allow you to stop, have a layover in Iceland for up to seven days. So that's really cool. You can basically come here kind of for free in a way, right? Yeah, kind of, you know, like the, the people the hotel and the food, but yeah. uh, no additional payment for the, for the fare. Yeah, so you have to cover like your own hotel and everything here but you basically can like stop here for free for an extended period of time which is really cool so they have the stopover buddy program so that allows you to have basically your own tour guide and they can take you to all they have like all different categories so if you want to try the best Iceland food you can choose the food category or nature or adventure so that's kind of what we did so they're just taking us around to all of like the coolest places here so that's what we're doing it today so we just stopped at a cool place we just passed by a really cool lake and they're just telling us kind of like what everything's called and some of the history of everything and it's really fun we have like our own little personal tour guide do you guys want to say hey hi <laughs> the only nature here here around just like this, this old lava and the moss so like you don't see any animals so like freelancing around here we don't have you know we don't have any natural predators or insects around here that live in the nature that's yeah. cool We're on an adventure. <laughs> the van just slowly started slowing down. Yeah, so we're yeah. stuck here maybe for the day, but we got uh, we got snacks. Yeah, right? we got, we got yeah. snacks. We're good. <laughs> he fun. joked that we were out of gas, and then all of a sudden our driver like gets out and starts lifting up the hood. 
we were like, oh. <laughs> Gauge that tells you if it's overheating. Yeah. It was all the way up to hot. That's not good. Two minutes later, we have the rescue team here. That was impressively fast. That was seriously probably two minutes. Like after he made the call. <laughs> Hi. Oh. We stopped at a farm. And they have cute, oh, he's peeing on our truck. What's in here? Oh, they have cows. Hi, cows. Oh, they're little babies. Oh, he's jumping, <laughs> he's jumping at us. Let me just show you guys the rig that we're driving in. This thing is huge. Look at these wheels. I feel like this thing will climb up the side of a mountain. There's some cows down here. I feel sad for them. We're in this cute little restaurant. They're just giving us a tour. I don't think we showed this already. There's like a little ice cream shop. They have all kinds of different flavors. They have blueberry, raspberry, salted caramel, mint chocolate chip. And this is it in Icelandic. And they have coconut cream, vanilla, licorice, blue cherry. I've never heard of blue cherry. Apparently this is like Easter egg flavor, this one. I asked if it was baby chick flavor because there's a little chick right there, but I was just kidding. And then this one's banana chocolate chip back here. So Parker and I just got a blueberry one to share. And then there's some cool little like souvenir type stuff over here. So there's a little magnet that says I survived Iceland, lost in Iceland. I love Iceland and then they have all types of like Icelandic things and like little bracelets and cool stuff. And they've also got some sweaters. And then we're all sitting over here enjoying our snacks. You got your ice cream cone? We're talking about different holidays so they're explaining their Halloween to us. So it's in February, you said. Yeah, yeah it's kind of, so it's Middle of February. Yeah, it's called So instead of uh, dressing up spooky and uh, going to uh, all old people's houses and then trick or treat them. We go to stores yeah. and uh, see for them. And you can dress like, you don't have to dress spooky. You can be a princess or a baby or yeah. For anything. Yeah. So. so you go into stores and ask for like food or candy? No, candy. Oh, and so. you have to sing candy. Yeah. yeah. Is there a certain song that you sing? No, it's you can sing everything. Really? Yeah. That is so interesting. Basically and on these days, like they just often have extra person in the store just for you yeah. listening. <laughs> yeah. To all the songs. Because everyone sings the same. Yeah. So it's just gonna get it's tiring. snowmobiling right now and it is actually like snowing outside so we're gonna do a little GoPro montage but I'm really excited I think it's gonna be fun Focus, my nose is all red. So okay. now we're trying another Icelandic 
snack. So these are chili rice cakes. Yeah. I don't, right. I don't know if they're like completely like Icelandic yeah, it's recipe, oh, they but not? for the main here. production. For the main here. Let's try. Rice we we get from Asia. <laughs> oh, we're good. Yeah. We get good, good from those guys. I like rice cakes. These are yummy. How's your pizza? Delicious. Good. We're in a little pizza place. What's this place called? Gauli. Skjö. 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 Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're like in the middle of nowhere. Okay, you have another snack for us? Yeah, just like one small candy you have here. It's called Opal. It's like a licorice candy we have here. And every kid has ate it and every, like every Icelander has had it. And uh, today we we make alcohol out of this as well. Yeah. Well, that's just plain nasty. So we're not quite trying it, but the candy is still good. So, nice. what do you like as of the candy then? Like black licorice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like black licorice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, we just stopped to get some drone footage. <laughs> There's like big tire marks. We just got stuck. <laughs> we just got some drone footage, so we'll do a little montage right here. Okay, so we made it back to our hotel from the, uh, the, the whole adventure. the whole adventure of the day. It was really fun. I had a blast. I it's, did too. It was so fun to meet them. I know it was so. I like that's I, my favorite part about traveling: meeting new people. Yeah. So they were a blast. We had a blast with them. Now we are gonna go get some dinner. Kind of hungry. Get some dinner. Get some. Going back to the grocery store to get some food. Oh, should we go there now? No, we'll go. Oh, so we just finished eating dinner. We were so hungry, and now we are at the grocery store because we are going on an eight-hour tour tomorrow. So we wanted to get some fruit and stuff, and some snacks. I have noticed that they have Pringles in every single country that we've been to, but they don't always have like. You know, like other countries have their own brands of stuff, but Pringles always come through for me and they're always here. Also, I think we're gonna get some candy for Parker's trying Icelandic candy video. Don't know how well that's gonna go because the guy we were with said that they put black licorice in like everything and we both tried the black licorice candy that he brought and we didn't like it. <laughs> I felt kind of bad, but I mean, at least we tried it. I'm pretty sure this is a bag of candied worms or something. Larva, have you ever heard the word larva? <laughs> That looks like bugs. Okay, so we just got back to our room and as we were coming in we saw that there was a Jeep a Jeep guy outside and obviously we weren't like, oh, that's for us, but we saw him and then we came up here and our phone was ringing so I heard and answered it and they were like, oh, your Jeep tour for the Northern Lights is here. And I was like, oh, what? Like we booked, I'm just so confused because I booked that for tomorrow and they don't pick you up like, I'm just like so extremely confused because I did book this for today and I wasn't told that Iceland Air like booked it for us because they booked our thing earlier today but they didn't tell me about this. So I'm just really confused, but I'm very grateful to be going, but I'm just very confused. <laughs> Guys, do you have your phone? My, you want me to show my phone on you? Yeah, we just rode in the Jeep. I wish you guys could see. It's like pitch black, but we're... I don't know if we stand here and wait for the lights to start showing or what. I wish you guys... Oh, you can kind of see. No, there's no lights. Well, there's a little light over there. It's really blurry. Let me fix it. This is our view right now. You guys are basically seeing it the same as we are. <laughs> It's super Blackness. dark. Okay, the lights are starting to show. You can't see them on camera unless you do a long exposure photo. And so, yeah, like I can barely see them right now. They're just barely starting to kind of like power up. So we will insert some photos since you can't really see them on video. I'll try to get video of them, but they've told us that you can't really see them on video. You guys see that? Check that out. It's right here. They're just barely starting to power up. That's a long exposure photo. We drove to another spot. Here's the what you guys see. And here's what the camera sees. This camera, our big camera with the long exposure. That's also, cool. did you guys like that rap music in the car? You yeah. can't even see Parker. He's right here. Mm. We were listening to Icelandic rap. They just gave us hot chocolate and I'm so happy because it's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, it's freezing. Hot chocolate's nice and warm. And they're serving vodka. 
Yeah, yeah they were like, hot chocolate and vodka. To warm you up. They were like, once you get the vodka in you, then the lights become stronger. <laughs> we were like, it's okay, we just want hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can kind of see them. In person, they're really cool. This footage is probably so annoying because it's so dark and you can't see anything. Okay, guys, we're gonna show you some of our pics. It is so freaking cool. We saw them so bright a minute ago. Like, look at that. It's not so quite cool. that bright in real life, but you could definitely see them like a lot. There's purple, look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're seeing this. This is so cool. So we are back to the hotel now. That was a very eventful day. Oh I had gosh. so much fun, but Parker literally is like sleeping, standing up right now. So we are gonna say goodbye. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another fun day in Iceland. And yeah, that's all. Bye guys.